in today's video, I'm wearing a heart monitor and I'm gonna compare walking versus ruck walking and show you just how many more calories you burn with a rucksack. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between walking, walking with a weighted vest and walking with even more on that same weighted vest. And we're gonna talk about the benefits, why you should be using walking as a form of exercise. And if you're looking to progress, what might be the benefits of ruck walking, weighted vest walking, and I'm doing it all using this Polar heart monitor because I wanna track my heart rate. So I'm gonna start off by just doing a regular walk. We're gonna go for a walk with the heart monitor. Then we're gonna load up the backpack, use some weights, and we're gonna see how many calories we burn, what the difference is like. Then I'm gonna to explain to you my thoughts on how we use this to benefit us to work towards our body composition goals. Okay, so over the last couple days, what I've done is I've tested a couple different cardio modalities and I'm on to my final one. What I've been trying to do is show you what it's like if you just walk outside flat, walk outside with a ruck, walk outside with a ruck with even more weight. I did up to 30 pounds. Then I came inside. This is my treadmill that I use every day. I have a Nordic track elite 3700 thinking about upgrading. There are some new features on the new ones, but for this, I just tried walking on an incline and for my final adjustment, we actually bought this, it's kind of like a tactical vest. It has weights in the front or the back. It's got about 17 pounds on it. I'm gonna walk on here on an incline. I suspect that this is gonna burn a lot more calories. I can already feel my resting heart rate increase. And the way that we figure out how many calories we're burning is based on a formula, which I can link below in the description box, but it basically takes a few things into consideration. And then it considers how much your heart is beating because as our body is burning oxygen, our heart rate increases to replace and replenish that oxygen. So you can kind of use heart rate as a way to determine how many calories you're burning throughout the day. So let's see what my heart rate gets up to during this session. And then we're gonna review the calories burned with all the modalities. So by the end of this video, you completely understand what's the best cardio for you. All right guys, so let's go over the data. I'm gonna look at it here on the phone. I'm gonna explain to you guys what I found out, what I figured out, I wanna talk about how fat loss works and how we do this. Now, if you haven't seen it, I did a video earlier this year where I woke up every morning and did a one hour incline walk, 30 days in a row. I lost about 11, 12 pounds of body fat if you watch that video, but I did not track some things. So the nice thing about getting this polar monitor is that it actually tracks my, my heart rate, both at rest, I can use it during exercise, and it did show me some interesting things that I wanna go over with you, but I would have been curious if I had been doing it at the beginning when I was 230 pounds versus now because wearing this showed me something very interesting. So let's talk about how many calories we burned per hour at rest, 108. Walking, just flat walking outside, 156. Walking on an incline, 240, which can be adjusted because you can change the incline and the speed. Walking outside with a 10 pound ruck, which I did yesterday, about the same as an incline walk, which I kind of figured. Now, when I made the, the ruck 30 pounds, it was a lot more taxing. Um, I did that outside, 280 calories per hour, but the winner by far was actually walking with the incline vest. Now, the thing that's nice about this is there's weight in the front and the back. It has about 17 and a half pounds of weight. It distributed it's very evenly and it felt very comfortable. The ruck did not feel comfortable. It felt like it was pulling me back. Now again, that wasn't a professional ruck, but I did burn 340 calories per hour wearing this walking on an incline. Then I also wanted to compare it to a workout. So I wore the heart rate monitor the other day when I trained back, which you would not get as much intensity on a back day as you would on say a leg day. But I was also working on a video for you guys where I'm testing my strength before and after taking creatine. So I did max out on one back day lift um, and I worked out for about an hour and I burned a few extra calories, 414. So if you're training in the gym with pretty high intensity, cause I'm typically going to failure at least one set per exercise. And if I'm doing four or five exercises, maybe six on a back day, I'm getting my heart rate up. So let's look at the heart rate and we'll look at the percentage of fat calories burned. So on the day that I trained back, my the highest my heart rate got up to was 132 beats per minute. The highest it got wearing this on the incline was 111. Um, the average heart rate was about the same for both of those uh, activities. But as you can see, like when I wake up, my resting heart rate's somewhere in the high 50s. Um, when I'm working, it's in the mid 60s. When I'm incline walking, which is my you know, normal thing, it's about 90. But I got a feeling when I was 230 pounds, 
because remember wearing this vest added about the same amount of weight that I've lost. My heart rate was up to 96 on average wearing this. So this could really add a lot of value in calories burned over the course of a few weeks and months. Um, I would have to do more experiments to see, you know, the wear and tear. This felt very comfortable. Um, I was definitely fatigued by the end, but the real thing for me that I noticed was that like the ruck and walking outside, you know, it was very humid here in Florida. So for me inside on the treadmill, nothing beats that. You can add some intensity by using the vest or a ruck while you're inside. But the real value for me with the treadmill and I use a Nordica track, uh, it's called an elite 3700 is that I can just change the intensity. I don't have to worry about the weather. It's always available for me. So if you have that luxury, I would highly suggest trying it out for you for fat loss. And then the other thing you got to consider is all the other things you're doing. Fat loss does not work just because you're doing cardio, right? You've got to be able to track your diet, make sure your nutrition's in place. I've got a lot of videos on that. Um, you've also got to make sure that you're not sacrificing something else for cardio, right? Just because you add 30 minutes of cardio, if you were prior to that walking the dog for 30 minutes, you might just be balancing things out. You didn't actually add any calories. So what you need to be doing is taking times that you're at rest and using one of these activities. So for me, I love to watch TV when I do my cardio. I get up first thing in the morning, I put on a show, a series. For me, that's my time to kind of decompress, get the day started before anybody's awake, before anybody needs me, before I get the kids ready for school, before I start answering client emails, I get it done and I get to enjoy some television. So I'm basically replacing rest with some activity. So yeah, obviously adding the incline vest is um, very interesting. Now let's talk about percentage of fat calories burned. The, the lower your heart rate, the more percent of calories you're burning from fat. So when you're sleeping, your body is burning almost purely body fat. When you're sprinting, your body is burning primarily glucose, glycogen, carbohydrates for fuel, right? You're burning that up. So as you increase the intensity, what happens is you start burning less and less percent of body fat. As you can see here, um, walking outside burned about 61% calories from fat and back training was only 38% and incline walking with the vest was about 45% of calories from fat. Now, what does that mean? Now, that's just how your body is using fuel to provide energy for itself. I'll say this, the higher the percent of fat being used for fuel, the longer you can go, um, the less impact it's gonna have on you. When you're burning through carbohydrates, you're gonna be able to go less and less time. Think of walking versus sprinting, right? How long can you sprint for? 15 seconds if you're good, all out. How long can you walk for? Days, right? Other than the blisters you get on your feet. Speaking of that, there is something to be said for wear and tear. Like if these rucks, if these vests are putting wear and tear on your back, your knees, your hips, that's something that over time I would have to pay attention to. But all in all, I think the cool thing that I noticed here was just that there is an increase in intensity as you use these variables. And I really am glad that I got this polar monitor because it does show me that the machine is telling me I'm burning an amount of calories. The difference is it's quite a bit less when you actually have the data. So it might be worth investing in a polar monitor just so you actually have an accurate reading of how many calories you're burning and you don't overestimate and then replace that based on the app you're using. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy this type of content where I can dig in, get some data, share it with you. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow.